course, one of the most popular and successful acts in the world today. But their journey to the top has not been an easy one. No, singer and fey weirdo Michael Stripe was born in Levenshume, Manchester, in the very house that Lard lives in today, isn't it, Lard? Eh? And at the age of 14, he became a Hare Krishna. It was only after he'd shaved his bonds that he came to the conclusion that he'd rather be a top sexy pop singer than a religious bloke. But far from being a mistake, his act of follicle self-mutilation proved to be a help and not a hindrance in his attempt to become involved in show business when he saw an advert in Levenjune Plectrum World. It read, Wanted, bald headed git to join four other social misfits in crap cabaret band. Michael auditioned and got the gig, joining the other band members Bog Breath, Billy Big Diggers, Fart and Titch. Mike realised that he too would need a nickname. Red, he thought, and the catchy moniker Red Stripe was Mike's new name. And it wasn't long before Mike... Red... Red, Bog, Big Diggers, Fart and Titch, collectively known as the Flying Wickets, reached number one with that haunting pile of cack, Only You. <laughs> this is going to take a long time. Hurry up, you daft swine. Can you hear me? What? Flush with success, Mike... Red. Red. Red went on holiday to Athens in Greece, and it was there that he met three dorky fellas, Rapid Bowel Movement. He liked the guys, but the name had to go, and overnight, Rapid Ear Movement was born. Their first record, an ode to Mike's... Red's... Uh, Red's influence was a great start. This one, this one goes out to the great Roy Hart. With another million selling record behind him, Mike Red Red, in an unprecedented move, dropped his nickname of Red Red uh, Red and changed it back to Mike Red No, Mike Oh, yeah. And uh, things went really great for a while then, didn't they? Yeah, then it was a bit ropey. Yeah, then it was a little bit more ropey. Yeah, and then it got even worse. When the, when, when the night is young And gas is building up And you want to snog And you wouldn't mind No such luck Cause everyone gets wind And everybody burns Sometimes and so, in 1983, the REM bubble burst, and they were dead unpopular. Yeah, Mike was fed up big styly until one night he met a man who was to change his life dramatically. Oh, yes, that man was David Bowie. Yeah, Mike got Bowie's autograph, flogged it for two million dinar, and moved back over to Levenshoom, where hang he was going to Hang on a minute, didn't what? we use this ending for the Lou Reed story? Yeah. And Iggy Pop. Blumenet, lad. The REM! 